Uh, this setup was um, I used to use under my train table when I was driving K track points, and it consisted of the Markland throttle, which I used to provide the AC power. It would be fed through a number of switches for the uh, different points, and each switch was uh, fairly. This is just a mock-up, but it was a simple toggle switch. Um, it was fed by two diodes opposing and it was feeding into this unit which was a small printed circuit board that I had designed and then had made 50 up um, and there were two more diodes on that and that would when you change the switch it would allow half wave rectified AC to go into the motor one way or another so the motor was actually fed by half wave DC. This made for good starting because it was um, uh, it avoided stiction or this um, uh, slow startup or sticky startup for little motors, and uh, it was very reliable. And I'll just show you how it works basically. So move the position of the switch and back the other way. So the slug that moves, which is nylon, had a brass loop on the top. The whole setup came up under the table, <coughs> and sorry about the bells. And uh, it drove a right-angle piece of brass wire that went up through the baseboard. The other end of which was a tiny little um, right angle, and it attached to the hand lever of the K-track point. So about this time I decided uh, it was very reliable but I decided I was going to go to K, sorry, C track so I didn't mount any more of these I had a few mounted but I left it at that but I decided to use the same setup and the same uh, switches on my control panel to fire the C track point motors so just a moment Um, just line up on the point. And when I fire the um, switch, oh, sorry about all the wiring, um, away she goes. So it works very well. It's um, This is one of the dreaded 74490 point motors. Uh, it's been very reliable. They all have. I've 25 of them mounted on the uh, train table, and I've never had one fail yet. So each point motor, each coil of the point motor, is fed by half wave rectified DC. And <clears throat> I'm running about 30 volts AC, uh, which means with a with the diodes set up, I'm getting about half that into each coil, a little less. And in the bus wire, I only need two wires to the point, and I'll show you why, because underneath we have this little arrangement, whereby each point has a small printed circuit board with two diodes mounted on it. So you can see there are two wires coming in. The, the yellow is the bus wire that runs the length of the table. The red wire is the one that comes from the switch for that particular point uh, and the three Marklin wires the two blue and a yellow connect to that little pad and that means <coughs> it's very easy to run and it has been so reliable I was concerned because of all the talk about 74490s and point switches and failing micro switches that I was watching these carefully but uh, they haven't put a foot wrong Thanks.